So we thought we would talk about why Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Come on, go. Today we're going to talk about how Paul Prudhomme and Dom DeLuise look very much alike. This is a great, with all the stuff going on in the world, we tackle the hard-hitting subjects, people! You couldn't tackle. Could you tackle Dom DeLuise or Paul Prudhomme? They're both deceased. Does that matter? Let's talk about how they look alike. How did that impact their lives, positively and negatively? Do we know? Well, they were actually friends. Do you think they were friends because they looked alike? Because you and I look alike, and I <laughs> hate you. <laughs> you. You told me to grow a beard so I'd look like you. <laughs> Dom DeLuise uh, was a friend of Paul Prudhomme's. Were they friends when they weren't famous? I don't think so. Dom DeLuise was a self-proclaimed look-alike. Why did Dom DeLuise have to self-proclaim that he was a look-alike? Couldn't everybody plainly see it because they were both famous? There's a an association for everything. Living in D.C., every business, everything obscure, there's some sort of association. Do you think there's an association for lookalikes where they you have to be somehow you're you're granted that you you look like him and you and you receive some sort of certification? This is not what Dom DeLuise had, so he had to self-proclaim. Okay. All right, good. So Paul Prudhomme wrote 11 cookbooks in his career. Dom DeLuise wrote 10 books in his career. So one less than Paul Prudhomme. Dom DeLuise wrote three cookbooks and seven children's books. Do we know if Dom DeLuise was a good cook? I, I didn't research that much. Well... I don't know. I mean, I think his family is going to be really, really proud of this tribute episode that we've done. Both of them, their families, their estates. I have some of the Paul Prudhomme blackened seafood and blackened sea, uh, meat magic seasoning in my pantry in there. But the lid broke. I dropped it because, I was, you know, my, my spice cabinet is filled with spices, 17 garlic salts like in different levels of use. When I opened the cabinet, the Paul Perdome fell out. This could have been a signal from him, from the grave. It came out, it fell on the counter, the lid cracked, it, the spice did not break. So now it doesn't have a lid. How can I get another lid for my Paul Perdome spices? We can certainly reach out and uh, ask them, or if you know how to reach the Paul Perdome spice empire, uh, leave us a comment. If you have a phone number or a fax number for them, Bill uh, has a fax machine. He can send a fax to the Paul Prudhomme Spice Empire and request a new lid via fax. I think I need two lids for both. I think both lids are broken. And um, I don't have a cover sheet for my fax, so I'll probably just write in the body of the note to Paul Prudhomme Spice Empire, what I need. How will I send them an image of to know what sort of spice lid to send with a fax? Will I just describe it? That's or probably should... best. I'll just describe it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. What's happening with Savage Steaks? We've taken January because it's typically a, it's a kind of a quiet month. It's a letdown after the uh, holidays. We are relaunching the site. We're going to be adding some new items. I think we're going to be adding quite a bit more seafood. We're going to be adding some groceries and some unique imported items from Europe. We are also hopefully in the near future, maybe by the end of January, going to be adding some prepared foods. So some scratch made. I don't know. Everyone says that scratch made, homemade, whatever you want to call it. Stuff that we make in our kitchens that people can pick up and it's ready to eat. So steaks aren't ready to eat unless you're like a wild animal. You could eat it at, you know, a raw steak. And a lot of people want food that they can just take home, put in the oven and eat. And we are going to be offering that, Aaron. Thank you for asking, Aaron, and reminding me to give people an update. So soon we will be relaunching, hopefully within the next two weeks. Look forward to great things from Savage Steaks. 
Meat Report is on Twitter now. Please follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's Meat Report. That's our username on Twitter. If you follow us on Twitter, what can our viewers win? What? We have to give people stuff to get them to follow us? Are you serious? Really? God. It's, it's the coveted follow, the person that, that clicks follow, takes all that effort and follows us and never comments or does anything, what should they receive? I can give them one of my bottles of, of half-used Paul Pernome seasoning with no lid. That's what I can give the winner. How about that? Okay, sounds good. I'm sure people will follow us. I hope so. We have a yeah. lot to say. We sure do. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching us on Meat Report. It's a great show. <laughs> <laughs>